did you know that you can run powerful AI model on your computer? It's true. Today I'm going to show you how it's easy to run Llama 3.2 new AI model from Meta on your local computer with graphic user interface. In my previous video, we used to use terminal. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use graphic interface to communicate with your model similar to ChatGPT. Hey guys, my name is Vlad. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. I am really too happy to see all of you again today. Setting up AI model on your computer could be really tricky, but I'm here today to help you to do that. I am really happy to make for you simple step-by-step -step guide that you can follow. And then you will have your GPT that you can use locally on your computer without accessing to the internet. If you are ready, then let's get started. We will need a few things. First of all, we will need Docker. Docker is a really great tool for developers. It is an open platform where you can develop and run your application without set up different infrastructure on your computer. In this video, I will show you how to install it on Linux. All you need to do is just follow simple steps, download the package first, and then use these two simple commands. We will be doing it through terminal because it's easier and faster. So just copy and paste the command and Docker will be installed on your computer. The another important tool is a uh, Alama. In a simple words, it's a large language model runner. Without this tool, we cannot use our web interface. So it's really essential. To install it, just use this simple command inside your terminal. It's really fast and straightforward. At the same time, you can download the models that you are going to use. To download it, open models page, then select the model you like, for example, Llama 3.2, and click on it. There are multiple versions available. You can set up any you like. I will be using one billion parameters model for this tutorial. It is lightweight, and you don't need to have a lot of memory to run it. Llama supports multiple languages, so you can use English or your own language. To download the model, just copy the command and paste it inside your terminal. The next step, we need to install OpenWebUI. It's a basically graphic user interface that you can run in your browser that can uh, allow you to interact with large language model, for example, Llama 3.2 that we are going to use today. And the interface will be really similar to ChatGPT version. In a simple words, it's a web application that will help us to interact with our large language model that we store in our computer. To install it, all you need to do, just use one simple command, copy and paste it inside your terminal. Okay, let's paste our web UI command here. This command will start a Docker container on the port 3000 with all the things that we will need to run our interface. It could take some time, so be patient. Once it's finished, you will be able to access your graphic user interface. Open your browser and then open 0.0.0 port 3000. And if everything is okay, you will be able to see the website. Then you will need to register and then you will have access to your graphic user interface. Some of you may have the issue. You won't see the available models. To fix the issue, go to the settings, then go to admin settings, go to the models, and then pull desired model from Alama website. All you need to do, just copy the name of the model you would like to download, go back to our interface and paste it here. Then click download icon and it should start downloading process. It could take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your internet. But once it's finished, you will be able to see the models in your interface. Okay, let's try. Click new chat, then select the model. And here we go. Llama 3.2 is here. Let me try my first prompt and see if it's working correctly. Let me ask if the model is up to date. And let's see the response. Okay, seems the model is working. It's replied to us. Seems this version is updated. Uh, it's from December 2023, so not that bad, and it's working really fast. It also depends on your computer 
depends on RAM and CPU. But overall, it's really usable interface, and it's really good free alternative for ChatGPT. Let me try to turn on the internet and check if our interface is working properly. So let's refresh the page. And seems everything is up. Okay, I'll ask the model check my English grammar. I will write some English, simple English sentence. And let's see at the result. Okay, uh, let me select the model and send my prompt. And seems everything is working pretty well. So really nice, you can use it without internet connection. That's it. As you can see, it's really, really nice. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Click like, show your feedback and comments below, and then I will try to improve the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you haven't watched my other videos, please watch them. They're really useful. Thank you so much for you watching this video till the end. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.